Ladies and gentlemen, One UI 6.1 with Galaxy AI is officially here. If you are running an S23 line of devices, a Z Flip 5, a Z Fold 5, go ahead and check for that update because it may very well be on your device. This is my S23 Ultra, and we're going to be using it in this video to go over some of, if not all of, the big new features with this update. And guys, there are a ton. Let's actually go back to this here and go to all changes, and you can see this. There are a million of them. I'm not going to go over every single one of these things, but the big new features we're definitely going to touch on. And number one here, instantly search for anything on your screen. We do have circle to search, and it's already working for me. You're just going to long press down here on that bar, and you're going to get this pop-up. But what it's going to let you do is circle anything on your screen to then search for that thing. So let's actually go over to my Google feed, and we'll use one of these things to do that. So let's go ahead, and we'll just circle this phone and see if it's able to identify it. There you go. So it's going to pull up search results based on that image, based on what you've just highlighted. Let's do it again here on the Pixel Fold, and let's see if it's able to identify it. Yeah, there you go. There's a skin for the Pixel Fold. There's a related search. Circle to search, quite cool. It's officially here on all these devices. Next on the list in the dialer application is Live Translate. You're going to want to go ahead and turn this on. Advanced Intelligence is just popping up to allow me to do this. This is kind of cool. Get the most out of your phone with these powerful new features, and it's giving you kind of a rundown of some of these AI features. We're going to click on Continue, and we're going to say English, Spanish. Yeah, that's the most common one that I'm going to be seeing. And it's going to go ahead and download the Spanish language pack. And basically what's going to happen from here is if you're on a phone call with someone that does not speak your language, Live Translate is going to provide a real-time translation during that call. The person on the call can hear what you say in their language, and you can hear their response in your language. This is really, really impressive. They've also got this interpreter application, which is going to work in person. It's going to do very similar things, but it's going to do this again in person instead of across phone calls. We've had things like this before. This is a new version of that using some of this AI magic. If we jump into the gallery application, it says we can now translate text in pictures by clicking this little T button down here. Let's Click on some of this text, and translate is indeed now an option. We can download that language pack, and we have our translation there. So pretty quickly, you know, take a picture of something, click your T button, highlight the text, and get a very fast translation. We can also apparently summarize information and translate web pages. So if we jump into Samsung Internet, you see the little AI button down here at the bottom. Let's click that, and we can do Summarize. I absolutely love this kind of stuff. That is so useful. That is really, really fast as well. Absolutely love features like this, and I'd love to see them on every device I use. So another thing, if you use the Samsung Notes application, you can do something very, very similar. I'm not going to necessarily show you that because it's the same thing. You have a long note. You can click a button and summarize that note that you just took. It says you can also automatically format, correct, translate, and generate covers for your notes as well. Over in the voice recorder application, transcript assist is also now an option. Let's go ahead and turn that on. A lot of this stuff is going to have to be manually turned on, so be aware of that. But what's going to happen now is... If I'm sitting here and I'm recording a long note, let's say I'm a student or I'm in a meeting, it's a lecture, it's something like that, I can record this long lecture, and not only is it going to give me a transcript of everything that was said in that lecture, you're also going to have the ability to intelligently and quickly, automatically summarize what was said in that recording. So here's the transcribe button. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to analyze the recording securely on your phone, it says. So this is a Gemini Nano thing. It's running on device, not in the cloud. Very cool. And there is the transcription. And here is a summary, which can also be generated really, really nice. Maybe you've got a new reason to use Samsung keyboard now because we have an AI button there as well. Translate chats and enhance your writing. Writing Assist uses advanced intelligence to translate messages in select chat and text messaging applications. Change the tone of your writing and provide spelling and grammar suggestions. I personally love the idea of spelling and grammar check. So let's say I am typing out a message 
that I am not really thinking too strongly about. I'm just sort of typing out what I want to say, and I'm going to need to do some uh, proofreading, maybe you could say. I can click on that button there and click on spelling and grammar, and it's going to look for ways to fix that. That's something that we have in Gboard on the Pixel devices, and it is something that I cannot give up. I do not want to give up. I love seeing Samsung grab this kind of stuff as well. Here's another one I am really excited to check out. We now have generative edit on this device. So we're going to click on the edit button. I assume that's where it's going to be. There's our little AI button. So let's click on that. Reimagine your images. Move, remove, resize the people, objects in your image. This is Magic Editor, but it's now here on a whole bunch of other devices. So let's click on Rose and let's see if it's able to. Yep, it automatically selected her. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab her and we're going to move her over here. And we're also going to make her much, much larger. Obviously, I did not grab the shadow. So maybe I should actually go back. Let's do this right. Let's grab her. Let's grab the shadow. Look at that. That is awesome. We're going to move both of them over here. And we're going to make them much larger because she is now going to be a giant Australian Shepherd. And we're going to put that right there. And we're going to generate this. And it's going to fill in that empty space that we left behind there. And it's going to make this look, hopefully, as realistic as the Pixel 8 devices are able to do. Sculpting new scenery. It says, look at that. That is awesome. You now have <laughs> a giant Australian Shepherd. She's massive. Let's zoom in here. That's where we took her from. I mean, it is slightly more blurry than around it, but that is really impressive. This is one of my most wanted features as well. Super, super cool that this is now available on this device, your Z Fold, your Z Flip. Really, really cool. Let's jump into wallpaper and style. Change wallpaper. We should have generative is here. So this is another thing directly from the Pixel 8. It's really similar to this. So let's pick an option here. We're going to go with translucent and we're going to pick from some options here. Look, we're going to do a translucent because I live in East Tennessee and we live literally on the dogwood trail. We're going to pick a translucent dogwood in blue. When we click on this, it's going to create a series of wallpapers based on these prompts. I get comments all the time when I show wallpapers on my Pixel 8 devices and even my Pixel Fold where I have sideloaded this where people say, wow, where did you get that wallpaper from? And the answer is, I generated it. And guys, these are exactly the same as they are on the Pixel 8. I've made wallpapers that look almost identical to this. So let's click on this one and we're going to apply it to the home screen and to the lock screen. I'm fine with how that looks. Let's go home and there is a brand new wallpaper. Now, like I said, there are a ton more smaller features, but those are the big ones, the ones that really stood out to me reading through that change lock. If there's something else on these devices that you are excited to see that I did not cover, drop them in the comments down below so that other people can read them and see even more uh, cool, exciting stuff that their new phone or that their slightly older phone, I guess, is able to do personally. I think it's amazing that Samsung has delivered all this stuff to something like the Z Fold 5. Google needs to learn that lesson. We're still waiting on Magic Editor on the Pixel Fold. Well, the Z Fold 5 just got their version of Magic Editor, and I got to tell you, I'm a little bit jealous. So big, big, big win for Samsung and their users today. One UI 6.1 is here, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.